Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Official Study Guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when, when we are working together. Today is our lesson number five. Yesterday on day number four, we started a new concept, the concept of order of operations. Order of operations, we also learned that we have a mnemonic device. The mnemonic device is PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses. The first one is parentheses. I'm just recapitulating it. Exponents. Then we do multiplication and division and we also learn that multiplication and division have the same priority so if they both appear in the given problem then the rule is that we simply move from left to right whichever comes first. If division happens to come first we'll do the division first, if the multiplication happens to come first we do that first moving from left to right as I said and similarly the same exact thing goes for addition and subtraction. Again, they have the same priority. We simply move from left to right, whichever comes first. Let's put them on the side here. So parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Here we have it. As I said, our mnemonic, PEMDAS. Today we're going to do three problems that you will find on, problem on page number 96. We did page, uh, problem 1 through 4 yesterday. We're going to pick up from number 5. Let's get going. Problem number five. For problem number five, we're going to need some room. I need to erase this thing. Problem number five, we will just we'll find in a second that problem number five happens to have all of these things in it. Let's take a look at it. Number five on page 96. Eight minus four divided by five minus three times three plus 11. I'm going to pick up the book one more time. Uh, uh, I'm going to pick up the book at this time and make sure that I did not make a mistake here. 8 minus 4 divided by 5 minus 3 times 3 plus 11. Let's begin. Shall we? So, we go strictly in this order, always in this order. The very first one to see with there is parentheses. Do we have any parentheses here? Oh, right here. There is the first one right there. So, we're going to take care of this guy first. And always, as I said yesterday to you, always rewrite the entire thing and always make sure you line up this thing so that you don't mess it up. It's easier to keep track of your work. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite each, everything each time and we're going to line them up properly. 8 minus 4 divided by, and this is what we're doing right now, because that's in the parentheses, 5 minus 3 is 2 times 3 and plus 11. As you can see how we line them up everything. So that was parentheses. Are there any exponents? There are no exponents here, so we don't have to worry about it. The next in the list is multiplication. Are there any multiplication? Right there. There is a multiplication right there. Oh, there is also a division. Oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. We have a division and multiplication, which is why you have to pay attention. Division and multiplication, as we just said, multiplication and division, as we just said, they have the same priority. So the rule is that you go from left to right. I was about to do multiplication first, but that would have been wrong. That would have given us the wrong answer. We do the division first because division is first, moving from left to right, moving from left to right. Division first, so 8 minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 3 plus 11. And now we do the multiplication. First the division, then the multiplication because division appears first. 2 times 3 is 6, so 8 minus 6 plus 11, we are almost done. Now addition and subtraction, same thing, addition and subtraction. They have the same priority. They have the same priority, which means we just hit, we move strictly from left to right, depending on whichever comes first. And here it just so happens the subtraction comes first, even though it's at the bottom there. But as I said, they have the same priority. So we do this first. 8 minus 6 is 2, plus 11, and that gives us 13. And the question is, why do we do it like this? Why do we have to go in such strict order here? Why, why couldn't we have done 
6 plus 11 first, why could I have done uh, this subtraction first? Because, as I explained yesterday, because we have to have rules in the society so that everybody behaves in the same manner, so that when, when this problem is given, when this problem is given to four different people, they do not all end up arriving at four different answers. Because if they did end up arriving at four different answers, then the question is who is right and who is wrong? Therefore we agree upon a rule. So this is the rule. Do you understand? This is a norm. This is a convention. This is a tradition. Let's do the next one. That was number five. Answer is 13. Of course society is society has to have some rules, some norms, some conventions, some, some traditions that we all follow so that it behaves in an orderly manner, otherwise it will be a chaos. Three different people doing the same exact problem or I make three different answers. And then what do we do? How do we determine who is right? Do we go to the parking lot and talk it out? Of course not. Number six. Two twenty-five divided by 3 plus 2 times 11 minus 4. Now this is a little tricky one, okay? Pay attention. See, before we had something simple like this in the parentheses 8 minus 3, it was something simple, we could do it in one step. But this cannot be done in one step. So when you have something in the parentheses which involves more than one thing here, listen very carefully, when it involves more than one thing, then we have to treat this entire thing as an entity in itself, as a problem in itself. And we have to do this first before we do anything else. So forget about everything else for the time being. We just look at this part because this is the parenthesis and the parenthesis comes first. So we do this part first. So we only look at this part and nothing else. We pretend that nothing else exists. And we ask ourselves, we have an addition and we have a multiplication. Which one comes first here? Ah, multiplication comes first. So we have to do this first. So we end up with 3 plus 22 and now we do the addition, we end up at 25, which means the answer to this entire thing, the entire thing that you see in the parentheses, the answer to this entire thing is 25. And this is 225 divided by 25 minus 4. That's what we're dealing with here. We can erase this part now. Now we have division and subtraction. Which one comes first? Division comes first, so we have the division first. 225 divided by 25, that's what we have figured out, 225 divided by 25. It's a very straightforward deal, but in case you did not know uh, by heart, immediately by looking at it, what 225 divided by 25 is, we're going to do it out. We could divide uh, top and bottom by 25 in one chart, but that of course will defeat the purpose. Then you will have to know how many 25s there are in 225. I was being stupid when I said that. So we'll have to do it in two steps. Let's divide top and bottom by 5, and then we'll have to divide top and bottom by 5 one more time. So if you divide bottom by 5, 25 divided by 5 is 5. 22 is made up of 4, 5. 4, 5 is a 20. After we take away 20 from 22, we have a remainder of 2. 2 goes and joins the 5, becomes a 25, and 25 has 5 fives. I'm going to do it one more time, low hand, for your benefit. So we're dividing it by 5, okay? Listen, 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 listen to, look at this stick here, follow this thing, and follow this thing. 22 has, 22 has 4, 5. 22 has 4 5, 4 5 is a 20. 22 has 4 5, 4 5 is a 20. After we take away 20 from 22, we have a remainder of 2. That 2 goes and joins the 5, that 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes a 25, and 25 has 5 fives. When we crossed out this 5 and wrote a 5 on top of it, we are not claiming that 5 is made up of 5 fives. That's not what it is. This 5 is not 5 by itself. This 5 has a 2 that is left over from here, just like you can see. This 5, when it comes down, is not by itself. It's sitting with the 2 that was left over from the 22. That's what that is. So if you cannot follow it like the way I did it, then just do it the long way. Anyway, so we have 45 over 5. We go one more round, divide top and bottom by 5. 5 goes away because of 1, and 45 is made up of 9 fives. Do you understand? So four. So the conclusion is that 225 divided by 5 is 9. Another way we could have figured out that 225 is made up of 9 25s. Another way we could have figured out that 225 is made up of 9 25 is to understand the fact, is to understand that fact that 250, I hope you're able to see that 250 is simply 10 times 25. Isn't it? 
So 250 is made up of 10 25s. Therefore, if you were to take away 125 from it, we are left with 225. And since we took away 125, 250 is 10 25. Since we took away 125, this must be 9 25s. That's what it was. So anyway, that's a long story short. So that's a 9. 225 divided by 9. 225 divided by 25 is 9. I need the rooms. So we need to erase it. So we're done. It's just 9 minus 4. So this entire thing is just 9 minus 4. That gives us 5. And that was problem number 6. Let's do number 7. Forty-seven minus five over five plus nine. Now, I don't see any parentheses or exponents or multiplication or division. It's just addition and subtraction. Why does this problem fall in this category of PEMDAS? The reason why this problem falls in this category is because what you see here, what we see this part here, this entire thing is same as what I'm going to write here at the bottom. 47 minus 5 divided by 5 plus 9. That's what this is. When you have this, when it appears as a fraction, when you have this appears as a fraction here, so that's your division sign, and then everything that appears on the top is, is treated as one quantity, as if, as if, as if it were in parentheses, and everything that appears at the bottom is treated as one quantity as if that were in parentheses. In other words, in a very roundabout way, what I'm trying to tell you is that in other words, we have to take care of the top by itself and we have to take care of the bottom by itself before we can do anything at all. 47 minus 5 is 42 divided by 5 plus 9 is 14. That's what we have. What 42 divided by 14 is, we'll worry about it in a second. Let's continue with this thing. So that's it. So that's what we have to do here. So we take care of the top first by itself. 47 minus 5 is 42. 5 plus 9 is 14. And now we have to figure out what to do next. Well, 42 is an even number. 14 is an even number. Why do we divide by 2? 14 divided by 2 is going to give us 7. 4 is made up of two twos and 2 is made up of one two. So we end up with 21 over 7. 21 over 7, 21 is a multiple of 7. Let's divide the top and bottom by 7. 7 is going to go away, become a 1, and 21 is made up of 3 sevens. There you go. The answer to the entire thing boils down to 3. Answer to question number 7 is 3. That was it. We'll meet again tomorrow, and we'll pick up from the next page. So this, right now, what we just did, problem number 7 that we just did, that was, was from page number 97. We're going to go on to page number 98 when we meet tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.